Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a swatch video featuring the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. We are going to be swatching the full line, the original 10 plus the original, no, the original 10 plus the release of 10 new shades minus just a couple that I don't have. I believe I have 17 shades here to share with you guys. Now these Maybelline mattes are some of my favorite lipsticks, period. They have a really good balance of being matte, but not being extremely drying. They have creaminess, but they do have good stain power. They're affordable, they have great color payoff, and they feel really comfortable on the lips. So I'm just going to go into just very briefly um, about the formula. These are really creamy. Um, I'm just going to show you the one that I'm wearing now, which is Nude Embrace. I will show you. Oh, I already have like a little swatch on the back of my hand. That's just one pass of Nude Embrace. I know it's really similar to my skin tone, but there's not much skin showing through. These feel really velvety on the lips. They go on really smooth. And the original formula is amazing. I will say that I do think a couple of the newer shades are a slightly different formula. I'll show you, this one is All Fired Up, which is one of the newer ones. I don't know if you can see that the outside is a little bit reflective. And then I'll show you Faint for Fuchsia, which is one of the, no, I'll show you. And then this one is uh, Ravishing Rose, which is one of the, other ones you see how just in the tube it looks more matte so I do you see that feel like some of these are a bit creamier I haven't applied all of these on the lips so I don't know if they're gonna look as matte but just swiping them on the back of my hand some of the newer ones do swipe on even creamier than the original ones so I'm hoping that they still have really matte finish on the lips but I am hopeful nonetheless that they're going to be the same great formula. So I'm just going to go in order of the numbers that are printed on the lipsticks. I will let you guys know uh, probably in the description box um, which ones are the newest ones. I'll indicate which ones are the new ones and which ones are the original ones. Uh, but I wanted to just do a swatch video of all of them in case you haven't picked up any or have a couple so you know what the whole line looks like. Like I said, I'm just missing a couple, but I do have the majority of the shades. These have been really, really hard to find. I've been searching for months for these. I've heard about them a while ago, and I've been on the lookout. I've been stocking in my drugstores, and when I first saw them, they were ran through, swatched. It was a mess, so they're finally getting more in, so... I figured I had enough to just get this video up because I've been wanting to put this video up for a while. So thank you guys so much for coming back and enjoying. I'm going to zoom you in and get started on these lip swatches. So like I said, this one is in 650. This is Nude Embrace and this is the shade that I am wearing right now. It is, I would say, a taupey nude color. It's not really warm to me. It's not really cool. Just a average nude. So this shade is 955. This one is called Daringly New. This one is a peachy, pinkier nude. I will have to be say to say because these are so creamy. Uh, just be a little careful when you're applying it because it can lean and get dense on the lipstick. But I'm gonna swatch that just here next to the other one, so you can see a bit of the tone difference. And I'm only gonna do two passes just so you guys can see the color payoff, but these ones feel really velvety on the lips when you press your lips together. Not normally a color I'd go for, but I saw uh, a fellow YouTuber, I forget who, wearing this shade and looked really pretty on her. So I decided to pick it up for myself. <laughs> this one is 656 in Clay Crush. This one has a little bit more red in it. It's a bit of a darker nude, but it's still really pretty on the lips. You can see how much though the color does jump from Clay Crush and the other nudes. 
So this shade is Nude Nuance in 657. This one is, as you can see, an even darker, brownier nude. People have been saying that this is a dupe for Gerard Cosmetics 1995, which I do have, and it is the lipstick that I broke um, recently. So I'm very, very sad that I broke this because I really do love this shade. I'm just going to put a little bit of it next to... I don't know if you guys did I even do it right? <laughs> no. Um, so to me 1995 is a little bit lighter and a little bit more pink but they are really similar shades so if you didn't want to uh, pay the little bit extra for 1995 I would say pick up Nude Nuance. It is a really 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 beautiful color but I am still very sad that I broke my 1995. So this is the shade 660 in Touch of Spice. I have it here. This is Touch of Spice. That is Nude Nuance. And then there I have really badly swatches of 1995 of both. Um, Touch of Spice is a bit more berry. So I do think that Nude Nuance is a little bit better of a comparison. But it's still, Nude Nuance is still a bit more brown. 1995, like I said, is a bit more pink. This one trying to get comfortable, sorry. This one is a little bit more berry, but still really similar. I don't think that you necessarily need both of them. I just really love these lipsticks, so I want all of them. Here is 665 Lush for Blush. It's like a dusty rose color with some purple added to it. So this one's really pretty. I wonder why I don't wear it more often. It actually goes really well with my eye makeup. But definitely not my shirt. Oh, and I have it here, <laughs> swatched. So you guys can see it compared to the other shades. So this is the shade 760 in Ravishing Rose. To me, it's like a neon dusty rose with no purple in it. Really just a dusty rose that's a little bit more vibrant and in your face. That's what it looks like there. Next to the other shades. This shade is 675 Faint for Fuchsia. <coughs> Excuse me, this is a shade that I picked up. Um, Jesus. This is a shade that I just actually picked up yesterday, so I hadn't even ever swatched it. This is what it looks like down there. This shade is gorgeous. It doesn't really go with my makeup that well. But this shade is 680 in Mesmerizing Magenta. Every time I pick up this color, I think, why am I not wearing this more? It's a really pretty, deep magenta color. It has some purple in it. Um, it's a lot deeper than the last shade, but it's really, really pretty. And the formula is still amazing. So far, all of the formulas here have been really consistent. They're not patchy. They're not streaky. Uh, you don't, even without a lip liner, my natural lip color hasn't really shown through, even with some of the nudes. Um, they layer really nicely. These can, if you layer them too much, have a tendency to bunch up on the inner part of the lids. And I get what I call like lipstick balls in my mouth. It's kind of gross, but um, these you won't really need to layer so much to get the color payoff that you want. Shade is Blushing Pout in 682. This is a cool tone soft lavender shade. This is what it looks like here. I will swatch it next to... Uh, I believe it's called Lust for Blush. So that's the difference. I really like these <laughs> cold tone lavender colors. I don't know why. They do absolutely nothing for your teeth. They make your teeth look terrible. But anything lavender, light, purple, I just love for some reason. So I'm really into this color. Um, I know it's kind of a hard color to pull off, but I think if you rock really any lip color with confidence, it's going to look amazing. Oh, and, and the right lip liner, because some of y'all with the nudes, stop it. So this shade is 681, which is vi Vibrant Violet. I've come to realize that I don't actually like purple lipsticks, unless they're extremely dark or extremely light. Like, I don't like just regular purple lipsticks. This one's dark enough to where I feel like I could wear it. It's kind of kick-ass. I kind of like a badass in this color, like a boss. Like, I'm cool. 
so yeah that's how this looks like it makes me feel like a dork apparently but this shade is gorgeous this is the first time i'm swatching it and wearing it i wouldn't don't know if i would say it's like vibrant violet to me it's really deep to be called vibrant but it's kick-ass it should be called kick-ass Vi violet why can't i say that word violet 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 my dog. I think I'm starting to get loopy because I haven't eaten all day. My stomach's growling. So hungry. Shade is 683. This shade is 683 Pink and Chic. Um, this one is like the a vibrant equivalent of Pout? What is it? Pout out? Blushing palette. This one's like the neon equivalent. This shade, though, I have to say is not my favorite. I really want to like it. Once again, it does nothing for my teeth. It makes them look yellow, but this is the type of shade I normally go for. But I don't know if you guys can tell that. Oh, my stomach just really growled. How it's starting. Like, you can see my lips through it. It's the color, though, that I think I'm going to keep. Just because I like the formula so much and I'm sure that I can mix this with oh my gosh are you hearing my stomach I'm sure that I can mix this with another shade and just make it work this is in the shade 684 electric pink to me this is just a more toned down version of the last one unfortunately it still has the same uh, layering problems on the edges I don't know why my lips are dark like just right here it's not even just a lip line it's like inside so, and right in here, this is where sometimes I have trouble with colors like this. This is what it looks like next to the last one. The only difference is this one is like more hot pink. This one's a little bit more of like a hot lavender color. But once again, this color I'll keep, but it's not one of the ones that I think I'm going to wear by itself. This one is in the shade 687 All Fired Up. This is one of the ones where I think the formula is a little bit different, um, still even with applying it. Um, it's a little bit creamier than some of the other ones, and it just feels a lot smoother. It's not as matte. It's starting to look a little bit like a clown, but it's not as matte as some of the other ones. I have it here, and I did notice that it reminded me of a lot of MAC Relentlessly Red, so I have... This one is, damn, I don't even think I can remember because they're so close. Watch them again. The top one is going to be uh, Max Relentlessly Red. The bottom one is going to be All Fired Up. So, Relentlessly Red, All Fired Up. It is really similar. The MAC one is um, drier. This is the MAC formula for MAC that I absolutely hate, but I really liked this color. So, I mean... You don't necessarily need Relentlessly Red if you're going to get all fired up. This one is just a little bit creamier. It's not as matte as some of the other ones. This shade is 691 Rich Ruby. I had to start swatching up here. I didn't want you guys to have to see my dark ass elbows. But this is my kind of red. I do like really dark reds. Um... This is the red from the second line, not the first one. I have a lot of matte red, so I didn't feel like I needed it the first time they launched. And the orange one I did buy, but I lost it. And that one looked more red on me anyway, so I just never repurchased. But this one is really pretty. This is my style of red. It's like... I want to say like all-American red, which I feel like is a ridiculous ass statement. But that's what I think of like sitting out in the 4th of July parade. Maybe because it's a couple of days till the 4th of July, that's what I'm thinking about, like, my 4th of July makeup, but that's what I think of when I think of Rich Ruby. Just a really pretty red. This shade is 695 Divine Wine. This is my favorite lipstick shade of life, of all time, of everything. I just love this shade. This is like the only lip color I have actual backup of um, because as you can see this is actually one of the few lipsticks that I have that I've really used it's showing the swatches what it looks like but this color is just 
everything to me. If I could only wear one lip color for the rest of my life, I would wear this. I feel like it goes for everything. You can wear it all in the fall. I would be fancy and rock it in the summer. Going out, you can wear it to a party, a wedding, a prom, a dance, a quince. Anything you want to wear it to. It's amazing. Oh, there's actually a color that's similar to this. Where is it? In one of my mega lasts, I think I found almost a dupe. Not cherry bomb. Is it cinnamon spice? Yes, Wet n Wild Cinnamon Spice is really close. Let me swatch it up here. It's really close to Divine Wine. The only thing is Divine Wine is looks more matte, and I do like the finish of this one better. So as you can see, Wet n Wild um, Cinnamon Spice is dead, almost dead on to Divine Wine for Maybelline. The only difference is the finish. The Wet n Wild, I don't know if you guys are, can tell, but it's shinier um and i do really like the more matte finish of this one i feel like it makes my lips look fuller but bruh this is the first time i'm applying burgundy blush and i was already looking at it like is this gonna be another contender with divine wine do you see my mouth right now do you see me that just gives me some attitude right now when i'm putting this color on very similar to divine wine just darker and more brown Especially when I pair it with the lip liner, it's giving me a really similar effect. Braid flip, pose, stunt. I feel amazing. Um, and also very delirious from not eating all day. So here are the shades of, I know I look crazy because I have other shades, but these are the shades of the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. I know I'm supposed to be looking at you guys, but... Me and myself for having a moment with this lip color. Thank you guys for watching the whole video. If you guys made it this far, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what favorite colors you have of this line. Um, and let me know if I should pick up the couple of ones that I don't have. Um, and I think that's something else. I'm not very good at astros. I haven't filmed in a really long time. So, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.